Let's say that we are trying to find the location of a gene which causes the recessive condition of sepia eyes in fruit flies. Heterozygotes obviously have the normal brick red eyes, the wild type, because in this example the sepia mutation is recessive. One of the techniques we could use to map this uh, gene is to use deletion mapping. One can obtain separate stocks of fruit flies, which have deletions in their chromosomes. Chromosomal accidents have caused certain areas to be lost, and the position of these deletions is precisely known. So, if we create heterozygous flies, one uh, chromosome possesses the mutation which we are studying, and the second chromosome is a deletion chromosome. We can then observe whether the flies have the wild type brick red eyes or the mutant sepia eyes. If they possess the brick red eyes, this occurs because the deletion was not in the region of the gene we are studying. It was somewhere else on this chromosome or another chromosome. If, however, the flies have sepia eyes, the explanation for this is uh, if there is deletion on one chromosome that would have a wild type allele in the same area that the other chromosome has a mutation, the mutation is expressed even though it is recessive. This fly effectively only has one copy of this gene and so therefore uh, deletions are said to uncover recessive mutations. They are expressed in heterozygotes. When this occurs, when we find the fly which is expressing the sepia eyes, we then ask where specifically was the deletion on this chromosome. And if we have a stock whose a deletion position we know, we can say that the gene is located in the chromosomal section where the deletion was also located. This is deletion mapping of a gene.